Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about a new core that Hotego released, a core that's in development for the arcade game Toki, 4K cores, and more. Also, go check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Add-ons. There you can get full Mr. setups, accessory boards, and a lot more. So let's get to the news. The FPGA Game Boy Color by Funny Playing has been released. It is a kit that you have to build yourself, but no soldering is involved. It costs $70, but that looks to be an introductory price, and the regular price looks to be $80. It features FPGA emulation of the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, it supports cartridges for both those systems, there's a USB-C connection for charging and firmware updating. What's included in the kit is the FPGBC printed circuit board, a screen panel, a 2 watt speaker, and an 1800 milliamp hour battery. The case does need to be purchased separately, and you can't use an original Game Boy Color housing without physically cutting it because of the USB-C port. However, Funny Playing does have Game Boy cases that will fit this PCB. After checking the product page several days later, the device is now sold out. Hopefully more stock will be available soon. If you're interested in the device, there are videos by Taki Udon and Mako going over the build, compatibility, and more. Grumpy Old Gamer UK is selling Mr. Laggies in the UK and European Union for 11 pounds. So far, a small batch was ordered and are being offered with free UK postage. It will be much cheaper for people in the UK and European Union to order Mr. Laggies from Grumpy Old Gamer because you won't have to deal with international shipping. And if you're in the US, you can order Mr. Laggies directly from the creator of the project for $12. Mr. Laggy is a device that will test how much lag your display device is causing. I have a more detailed video, so check it out if you're interested in it. Otego released a new beta for the arcade game Gangbusters. This is a Konami arcade vertical shooter where you control a law enforcement officer to help clean up the streets. Otego also released the final round core to the public. This is an arcade boxing game. Some maintenance updates were made to other cores. For the Simpsons core, there was a rebalance of the sound mix, which lowered the volume of the FM sounds. For Karate Champ, support for linking two joysticks was added. Also, some changes were made to the CPU clock to produce nicer PCM effects to some versions of the game. For the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles core, the metallic sound problem that was introduced last week is now fixed. And the Block Block core can now save settings correctly. Granny Snice released a new Castlevania wallpaper for the Mr. FPGA, and it looks incredible. I'm going to be using this one from now on. You can obtain wallpapers for the Mr. FPGA by enabling them in the Update All script. The Nintendo 64 core now has the option to de-dither. This makes some gradients smoother like in the image shown. Robert also has a Patreon post discussing the technical details of recent updates and fixes. His posts are always a great read. So if you can, support Robert on Patreon for all the hard work he does. And later in the week, we have some big news for the Nintendo 64 core. The TLB has started to be implemented, and now Mario 64 no longer needs a no face patch. This update also helped some other games run. On the Mr. FPGA Discord, it's been mentioned that Mario 64, Mario Golf, Killer Instinct, Twisted Edge, Transformers Beast Wars, and Vivid Dolls are also working. It is possible other games will also be affected. There's a new developer that is working on developing a Mr. FPGA core for the arcade game Toki. The core already looks far along in development, but the dev mentions that the sound part needs to be developed. The developer is called Solal Retro Gaming on Twitter, and you can support them on Ko-fi. Check the description for the link. User Just the Guy on the Mr. FPGA forums released some fork cores that run at a horizontal 4K resolution. The DE10 Nano does not have the bandwidth to output a full 4K, so the way this was achieved was by using a lower vertical resolution, like 720 pixels. Then you can enable the stretch to fit setting on your television to fill the screen. Just the Guy says essentially you're giving up vertical resolution and sharpness in exchange for full use of your display's horizontal resolution. It is also mentioned that this is useful for integer scaling. You can achieve a 10 by 9 pixel aspect ratio for NTSC 256 pixel modes, which is less than 3% away from the canonical 8 by 7, 
and doesn't require any cropping of a 240p image. Other console pixel aspect ratios like 12 by 7, 32 by 35, 6 by 7, 4 by 5, 4 by 7, and 16 by 35 also have close integer scales at nine times vertical. It can also be useful for non-integer scaling. With so much horizontal resolution, scrolling shimmer with nearest neighbor is barely noticeable. And it's useful for shadow mask and other CRT effects, which might look better with the extra resolution. Just a guy created cores for the NES, Super NES, Mega Drive, Mega CD, PlayStation, and TurboGrafx-16. They will have to be manually installed on your Mr. FPGA. Check the forum post for the fork course and some important information. So that's it for this episode. Please try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provide a links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro-related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.